So today we're going to have a look at an Autocruise Starfire. So the Autocruise Starfire is just under 6 metres long and just under 20 feet in length. It's 3,400 kilograms in weight, so you don't need a C1 licence as it's under the 3.5 tonne. It's on a Peugeot boxer chassis with a 2.8 diesel engine. So we have an end kitchen um, with gas, hobs, grill, oven and fridge. And also at the back we have a cassette toilet with a sort of combined shower area. But I'll show you that a bit later. We have plenty of overhead storage and then passenger and driver swivel seats and then we have two nice long bench seats which can be made up into a large uh, sleeping area which is a really good size. So what we're going to do in this video I'm going to show you how to set up the Autocruise Starfire and just show you where the different bits and bobs are in the van so the easiest way to set your van up if you start from here and work your way around first thing we come to is our gas locker and as you can see we've got um, a six kilogram uh, propane gas bottle in um, red bottles propane blue bottles um, butane so what we'll do is we'll switch it on So we've got gas going into the van and then the next thing we come along to is our hookup for getting 230 into the van so you can use everything that needs a plug um, so we plugged in there and then what we've got here is how we put our water assist water into the motorhome um, it's not the conventional way where you put the hose in and fill up the fresh water tank the way you do this is let me just take off the winter covering <laughs> So as you can see, it's a little bit like the traditional caravans. So what you can do is you have a pump like this, like the caravans do. So then what we do is if you plug it into here, as you can see, the 12 volts is kicked in, which is operating the pump. Now you would have an aqua roll with which you'd fill up from the aqua roll and fill up the fresh water tank. Um, so it's quite good as well. You don't have to keep moving to the tap um, to fill up your fresh water tank. You can just fill it up with the pump. So what we've got here, this is our flue for our hot water. This is the winter cover. So if we take that off, that's our flue. I'll put that in there. Now, if you have got the winter cover on, it won't work on the gas. The reason being is because the cover's over it, you're starving the gas of oxygen. So it'll lie for a second, then it'll just go out. And then what we've got, ooh, is our waste drain off for a waste tank. So everything down a plug hole, goes into a waste tank and that's how you drain that down and then we have cassette toilet so we lift the flap up there and it doesn't come out don't try and force it the reason why it won't come out is I'll just show you is if you can see here you can see the flaps open so if I close it now and we go back outside and I do exactly the same you see how it slides out so in order to empty your cassette toilet and get your cassette toilet out of the compartment, you must have your cassette flap closed inside. So moving to the back, what we do have, we have a bike rack and also we have a tow bar fitted on. And then we have electric step and then above we do have the awning. And then just coming to this other hatch, I'll just show you down here. This is your drain off your fresh water tank. So as we've done earlier on, we've filled up a fresh water tank. If you're not using the van, you can drain down your fresh water tank. And then here we have a hatch for underneath the bench seats. And then what we have underneath here is we have our batteries. Now this van's got two batteries on. I'll show you, there's the first one. And there's your second one. Ooh. Right, so we've done our three elements. We've put the gas on, so we've got gas coming into the van. We've put water into the fresh water tank and we've put our hookup on. Um, so we've got our 230 electric coming into the van as well. What we need to do now is prime the van up. Um, so easiest way, we'll put the hobs on to bring the gas through and then we've got to bring the water through. I'll just show you the control panel first and it's located in here, just next to it as well. 
we've got the aerial so there's the aerial and then we've got the status um, booster which you can switch on I never get it right the first time like so and then we have the control panel so what we have and there's our 230 trips so that proves we've got power coming into the van we have a charger supply um, on off so when we've got a hook up in the van it's charging the batteries and then we've got select so van is for the leisure battery car is for the vehicle battery so if i'm not using the van and i want to charge the vehicle uh, the vehicle battery up i'll lock, put the switch onto car and then if i want to charge the leisure battery i'll put it onto van and then what we have next is our pump so external pump like i showed you earlier on when we put the pump into the van outside or bring water in the van and then we have our internal we can battery test we have a water test to tell us how much water we have in and then here are our 12 volt fuses so we've got to bring water through the system now um, via you via drawing from the pump we've then got to put it to send it into the hot water tank and then it'll go to all the taps so we prime up a hot water tank is behind the heater under the drawers but we need to make sure that the hot water tank's not got the drain valve up or else when we prime up the water will um, come up through the pump into the water heater and come out the bottom of the van so the drain off for the water heater I'll just show you so as we can see um, underneath the bench seat we have the water pump here and then we have the drain off to the water heater and as you can see it's up so any water we put into the water heater will just drain out of the bottom of the van so we need to close that so we've closed that and now we can prime up so what I need to do now is activate the internal pump so I'll press that down so the pump started because it's working off pressure it's pulling up the water from the fresh water tank and then going to the cold feed and then also going into the hot water tank so that's our cold coming through and this is the hot water so what's happening at the moment is basically it's filling up the water is filling up the hot water tank with which i said was in the wardrobe behind the back of the fire and under the drawers so basically like i said it's filling the hot water tank and it's pushing air out which is coming out through the tap so there's a cold there's a hot and this process roughly takes around about two minutes so as we can see now it's pushing all the air out it's filling up um, this one holds I'd say 10 litres in the hot water tank and now we've got a good flow of water coming through so we're primed up so if I switch that off and then the pump should go off so every time I use any hot water it will automatically the pump will automatically carry on and fill up the hot water tank so I'll quickly show you the shower area now this is a good area because what we can do with the shower we can close this off here and then we close the other door as well and it gives us a good enclosed shower basically and there's our shower I'll put that up there and then open this back up and then we've got a, we've got a wash basin and toilet and then to operate the flush we just press the blue button which sends the water around and that uses the same water from the fresh water tank so you would have to have your um, pump switched on to use it but good area good shower area right so what we can do now is we can get some hot water going we've got a choice of either gas or electric so if we're on site and we've got a hook up in the van we're going to use an electric so dead easy how to switch your electric on if we go to this wardrobe and then what we've got inside a wardrobe we've got our switch here where we can just switch it on and that activates um, the electric hot water and then if we're while camping um, and we've not got electric into the van we'll use a gas so the gas um, operation is found just this side which I'll show you here so what we've got a gas here if we switch that on now and I don't know if you that that's lit and we've got the various temperature controls that we can set and um, for the gas now remember when I showed you earlier how we've got the two leisure batteries to keep them nicely topped up we do have a solar panel on top of the roof and this is your control the unit here um, saying we've got 100% in so we've got a hot water going um, if it's cold we need to get a bit of warmth into the van 
so we've got the fire here now the fire is only gas only and the way we operate we turn it around holding down to get the gas coming through and we ignite and then that's lit which I can turn up and then we do have a spy hole here where we can see the flame and if you just see there in the spy hole you can just see the flame now what we can also do we have got a blown air system um, so we can use the blown air system whether we've got the fire on or not so we can operate that you can hear the fan going at the back of the fire and what that'll do it'll blow air through the various fans around the van so if you've not got the fire on it's going to blow cold air if you've got the fire on once the, it's heated up it'll blow warm air and then we do have another setting here with the um, fan going but it's going at a slower speed so it's more quieter um, and that's more for when you use it night time when you're asleep and that's just pushing a small amount of air through and then you've got the other option where the fan runs at a higher speed and I think the last operation we've got now is the fridge so here we do we have the fridge so we'll come to the first setting there's our gas we're holding it's an auto ignite and then as you can see the little dial going up we know it's working on the gas so I'll take my finger off and then what we also have if we're on a campsite we've got a hook up in the van we have our electric and then for moving from campsite to campsite to keep the fridge chilled um, so the engine's going to do the work with the alternator we've got the battery set in there so we've pretty much set up the van now we've got the fridge on we've got the heating on we've got the hot water on um, we've also got a little extractory fan above which we could have at different settings and then if I make my way towards the front of the van we have a skylight a good size skylight with fly screen and blinds same again with all the windows as well we have got the fly screens and also the blinds and what I do like call me a child I do like these it's off and it's on full by just pressing them now they are 230 so they don't work off 12 volts and there's another one here as well so there we have it the auto crew starfire if you've enjoyed the video please subscribe to us it means a lot and also hit the like button and we'll see you on the next one